I really don't feel like doing this video right now, which is kind of ironic. Show of hands, who has ever known they should be writing but didn't feel like writing? Okay, this is a really bad format to do the hand thing because it's pre-recorded and I, I can't see you, but I'm going to assume that the majority of the five or six people who watch these videos have felt this kind of thing before. Whenever you embark on a writing project, especially a longer one like a novel, it's normal to have some days where things just aren't working, where despite your best efforts, you just don't feel like writing. Days where your motivation just isn't there. You've no doubt heard that if you want to finish one of these projects, then you need to fight through these times when you just don't feel like working on it. So here are some tips on finding motivation when things just aren't working. Tip number one, Ask yourself why, specifically why you've lost motivation. Evaluating why you've lost interest in a project is the first step, and there's a whole lot of factors that can come into play. You could be tired, hungry, thirsty. The room could be too cold, too hot. You could be wearing pants that just aren't that comfortable. If there's something about your physical state, your mental state, or the environment you find yourself in that is not putting you in the mood to write, then take a minute, figure out what it is, and see if there's ways to improve it. This might be something that just requires a simple fix, or it might be something that's going to take a lot of effort to overcome. But you can't know what to do to fix it until you identify the problem. You may also feel like there's some kind of problem with the story itself. Maybe the characters aren't jiving the way you wanted, maybe the plot isn't coming together, Maybe you're just finding it boring. If you've lost interest in the story while writing it, chances are people are going to lose interest while reading it. What you do here depends on your own process and at what point you've reached in your project. I'm of the opinion that you should try and push through on a first draft, get the first version of the story down, however it comes out, and then go back and fix any issues during your revision. You don't want to keep realizing that there's problems in your story and going back to the beginning and starting over. There's a lot of things that can cause a lack of motivation. The first step towards fixing that is to figure out what those things are. Take a step back and evaluate what's going on. Try to find the root cause of the problem in your motivation before attempting to fix it. For example, I had a problem with writing the transition to tip number two, mainly because I forgot to write one. Tip number two, develop a good writing routine or habit. I've talked before about the importance of having a good writing routine. A set amount of time that you devote to writing, whether that's some time every day, once or twice a week, or whatever fits your schedule. This is not so much a way to keep you motivated as it is a way to get you through the times when you aren't feeling motivated. Having a time where you sit down and write, no matter if you feel like it or not, over time will help you to be more consistent. I did a video a while ago about getting into a daily writing routine, so you can check that out if you want some more help here. I will hopefully remember to put a card or whatever those things are called. Here, is it this corner or that corner? A routine won't necessarily make you more motivated, but it can trick your brain into being more consistently productive. The strength of a good habit will help work against the times when you don't feel motivated. There are a lot of days where the last thing I wanna do is write, but because I've developed a habit, I'm at least sitting down in front of my project consistently. This habit that I've developed has led me to write more often when I don't feel like it. Although it didn't help me come up with a transition to tip number three. Tip number three, do some non-writing things. I'm not telling you to waste all your time sitting in front of the TV or staring at the internet unless you're watching my videos, that, that you have permission to do. What I'm saying is that you should have a few other hobbies or projects that are as mentally engaging as writing, but aren't writing. I, for example, in addition to my writing, produce these videos, have a few other creative pursuits, and have a full-time job. That last one takes up a lot of time. It's probably what they mean by full-time job. Spending all of your time thinking about one thing will make you quickly lose interest in that thing. Giving your brain a break from that thing means that when you come back, 
you will likely be more interested in it. I don't know all of the science behind this, but I think freeing the conscious part of your brain to work on something else will allow your subconscious to continue thinking about your writing. I always find that after spending some time working on something else, I always develop new ideas for my writing. And new ideas help to keep me interested, just like I'm interested in getting to the last tip in this video. Do you, do you remember when I said I didn't feel like doing this video? Tip number four, get over it. You're probably expecting some kind of a speech here about how motivation is for novices and real writers just sit down and work through the pain to get stuff done and you're being a delicate snowflake by sitting around whining about not having any motivation. Personally, I'm tired of hearing people make that speech, so I'm not going to do it, although I guess I kind of just did. Now, I fully agree with the argument that these people make. If you wanna finish something like a novel, you're going to have to work through some pain. That's just the nature of these things. And working through the times when you don't feel motivated to write is one of the major things that separates people who finish novels from those who don't. Your brain is very good at avoiding doing hard things. You need to figure out how to work around that. How you do this will vary from person to person. The things I've talked about in this video will help a little bit, but you're going to need to accept the fact that writing can be at times boring, stressful, and uncomfortable. Your excitement about an idea is unlikely to last long enough to finish a project. At some point, you're going to become familiar with the idea, you're going to become tired of it, and the writing is going to get more difficult. You should let your desire to see your projects through to the end be the thing that sustains you during those rough patches, not the fleeting creative muse that shows up for 30 minutes every three months or so. Oh look, there it is. Too bad I have to finish filming this video. Your persistence and work ethic that keeps you going through the hard parts of the project are what are going to allow you to get to the end of your projects just like we're at the end of this video. I hope you found this advice useful. If you want to see more stuff like this, you can check out all my other writing advice videos and subscribe to my channel. I post new writing advice videos every Wednesday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.